Now, Kenny, more importantly, how's your dog going to go in the big final tonight at Sandown Park? <laughs> Can Lee, Kenny, it's got, the, it's got box number one. It's on in about two hours' time. Have you got the TV just in the corner of the coach's box there? Look, if we've kicked the last couple and you flashed to me and I'm not as excited as I should be, maybe the dog hasn't done any good. But, uh, uh, he's a, look, you, you, everyone understands. I'm sure people have got an understanding of the story behind Kenny and uh, you know what he means to me and, and to Jan and the family. Uh, look, we just hope he competes. It's a great effort to be in a Group 1 race and uh, hopefully tonight we win the footy and then we can win Canley Kenny. Uh, uh, can, can you just give us a quick insight, 30 seconds on the dog and, and the significance of the family for those who don't know the story? Yeah, look, uh, my best mate passed away, unfortunately, a couple of years ago in November, and uh, we were as close as you can get, and uh, Jan and the boys and the family, we've always had some greyhounds together, and we've raced the dogs. Peter Parrott, as he was called, was he named the greyhounds before he passed away, unfortunately, and he, he called one Kenny and he called one Ollie, and Kenny's uh, turned out OK, and he actually said to me, I remember the words, he's a bloody idiot, that dog, he's well named. <laughs> <laughs> now... Let's go, John. Over to this is your speciality, mate. The dish lickers, because we know that Kenny Hinkley had a dog running tonight. Kenny, Lee, Kenny, here we go in the national sprint in the red. Number one on the rails. Push through. Come on, go, Kenny. Lee. Kenny's third, brown dog. Happy with the run or not? Didn't handle the wet. Did not handle the wet. And uh, paid her right though. You're probably even money. You get your money back though. So Kenny, Lee, Kenny, good effort there. Not good enough though. Uh,